Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about Wildcat by J.P. Harker. Uh, this was sent to me by the author uh, for me to review. It is book one in the Caledon Saga. So this one, uh, I, I had a pretty mixed experience with. I mentioned in one of my weekly updates, this is something I probably would have DNF very quickly had this not been specifically a book that was sent to me. Uh, I kept going, things did definitely improve. Uh, and there were some good things and things I enjoyed about this, but I also did have a lot of issues uh, with it as well. So I'm going to read the blurb here really quick just to, to set the scene, also because I have some comments here. So we have Rianne Wen of the Caterin is conflicted about giving up a warrior's life to become a wife and mother, but her love for her new husband is enough to at least make her consider it. However, with the conquering Gaians moving ever closer to her homeland, a peaceful life may no longer be an option for Rhea or for any of her people. With rival tribes, old suitors, and the dangerous General Lepidus to contend with, Rhea soon finds her new family in unprecedented danger, and her choices now must be about more than just herself. So that kind of sets the scene, and what we're looking at here in general is we have uh, kind of a, a tribal people, uh, they're warriors, uh, they're fighting amongst themselves, and then we have the Gaian Empire, which is, seems to be uh, pretty well, you know, the Roman Empire coming in, uh, and, and that's kind of the setup there. The, the description here, though, makes it sound like it's a very different book, and I think that's kind of where uh, my issues with this start with kind of how the main character is presented and how female characters in general are presented in the story. Uh, this is something that was primarily a problem early on. It was a few other times throughout, but it, it was early on especially because we're told that this is a character who wants to be a warrior and uh, is going to be giving that up, you know, and it's seeming like she's not sure she wants to, to become a wife and a mother. We never really get that though. There's no internal struggle. There's no indecision. That's not really presented in that way. It more so just seems like Oh no, naturally that's what she's going to do. What else would she do? She's a woman. And early on there's um, several times where it's just the way the female characters are portrayed. Either it's just, you know, like, because this is a group of people who both men and women are warriors and fight like the elite uh, warriors are said to typically just be men. It'd be rare for there to be a woman, but they're supposed to be equals and they fight. But uh, we have things like, you know, female characters after battle are just talking about cute boys and that kind of thing. Some just odd scenes uh, where, you know, some of the female characters are just sexualized oddly by different people for no reason. And so early on, that was something I really got uh, had an issue with. Now, the story does at one point have a time jump that kind of then jumps forward to push things along. That also, I felt like, felt really off with the pacing, because once again, we don't get to see some pretty important core events and develop with our character. This continues where we're told there's a struggle, or we're told what's going on, but we're not really actually given or shown anything to, to back that up. So it makes it hard to really feel for these characters because they feel like characters, you know? You, you don't get to see any of the things that develop them. Uh, it just makes the characters feel a little bit flat. Now, later on in the book, uh, the characters do start to get developed a bit more and the relationship between some of the characters uh, was better. We do get some, some good battle scenes and some other scenes that I enjoyed uh, toward the end of the book also, but the, the kind of overall uh, issues just continued for me with this one. And the big thing is most of the, the plot points seem a little bit forced. Uh, we have things happening uh, and then all of a sudden this is where we are, big decisions are made, there's really no thought, it's just this is immediately what has to be done, that kind of thing. And it makes it not really flow very smoothly and it made the pacing uh, have a lot of issues as well. I think with this story, if there were more uh, different POVs, we do, we, we mostly are following a main character. Uh, it is in third person, and we have a couple here and there of POVs of different characters. I think if it was uh, spread out between more POVs, that might have helped with kind of showing the motivations and showing the different sides of this. Uh, and also, just honestly, this being a shorter book. This book is 550 pages long, and uh, with the formatting, it's not, you know, um, 
It's not probably quite that long, but this is a pretty long story. And so for a lot of the major points to feel rushed and for us to just not have really gotten a lot of time with the, to understand the main character and, and some of the other characters, I feel like fleshing this out while also cutting down on page count could have been really helpful. Um, it's just with a book being this long, I feel like there were definitely things that it could have done uh, and did not. Um, that said, it is uh, uh, well written, and uh, this is not one of those self-published books where I was finding a bunch of errors, I think issues kind of like that. Mostly it was just with the way that the story was written. Um, you do get some familiar elements here with, like I said, the, the tribal group fighting against the Empire, learning new ways to fight. Uh, we get druids, and the, the druids and the, the way that their magic is presented too, I find just really interesting. Uh, with kind of the druids and where they don't really want to interfere. We do get uh, some hints that there might be more going on and in general uh, some of this seems like it's setting up a, a larger story uh, for what's going to be coming on too uh, with future generations and what's going to be happening between these different groups of people. Um, so there, there's still uh, definitely some things to like here. It was mostly just kind of the way it was handled. The back half of the story though for the most part once we kind of got where we were going, we got past the parts where we were just kind of establishing things. Once we got moving, uh, it, it definitely, uh, the, the story elements I, I enjoyed a lot more. It's just it kind of was the, how we got there uh, didn't make a ton of sense in a lot of cases and just with some of the, the characters and the choices they made or the, the way they were treated, it just did not really mesh well. Uh, for me and some of the, the portrayals I didn't think were entirely necessary. There were also some moments too just where some characters maybe make a decision and maybe it's a good scene but I don't feel like I know that character well enough to know if this made sense or is this really something they would do because we didn't spend a whole lot of time with any other characters besides your main character who also had some issues with uh, the way that that character was developed. So. That really is how I felt uh, on Wildcat by J.P. Harker. So not a bad book, uh, but one I definitely had a lot of issues with. Uh, I think things that uh, could have been done a little bit differently. I don't think this is one that will be continuing uh, the series on. There is more of a series. Uh, but if you, you do like um, that kind of thing with like a, you know, tribal barbarian people going against uh, empires, I think there's definitely some to like here. And uh, with... Uh, this book too. I think there is potential uh, for the other ones of the series because like I said, it is well written. Uh, some of the things I had issues with uh, might have been more taste uh, than anything, but um, I, I this was I was pretty in the middle here. Uh, like I said, early on I was not, not enjoying it really at all, uh, but it did improve definitely for me. So um, that's, that's kind of where I ended up landing on it. Let me know if you have read this, your thoughts on it in the comments down below. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description, as always, for the Wizardly Duo Discord if you want to chat books. Whether this book, other books, any books, really anything at all, uh, it's a lot of fun and we would love to have you. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe.